The voice of the people is the voice of God. Local law is justice for all. These immortal stone-etched words greet all who enter the historic Callahan County Courthouse. Built in 1929 as a beacon of justice in a modern era, the Callahan County Courthouse is celebrating its 85th year of service to the great citizens of Callahan County. But the county's history stretches back much farther than this. The year 1877. The first meeting of the court was in a building that was there in Callahan City. But later, the story is that they frequently met under the oak tree. As the West was being tamed, a few courageous men gathered under the branches of this very oak tree, just outside the now abandoned township of Callahan City, and the county which bears the name of a Texas Revolutionary War veteran, James Hughes Callahan, began to take shape. But then, Shortly thereafter, the contested election between Belle Plaine and Callahan City occurs, in which Belle Plaine wins the election. The competing town of Belle Plaine began to flourish and built a college with an enrollment exceeding 300 students. Today, that building, weathered by more than a century's worth of West Texas wind, stands in ruins in the middle of a pasture, forgotten. From the county's founding in 1877 through the next 50 years, the citizens of Callahan County pooled resources and endured together as a community to settle the West for future generations. And as rail lines began to expand West, the people of Belle Plaine lobbied for the railway to run through their community. But the planners recommended that the tracks be laid a few miles to the north in the community of Baird. Shortly thereafter, the people voted to relocate the county seat so as to be closer to the railroad. In pursuit of conservation, the citizens moved the jail, stone by stone, from Bell Plain to the location just off the square adjacent to the courthouse, where it still stands today. After Baird became a county seat, the merchants raised $2,000 and had that building moved stone by stone from Belle Plain to Baird. And that served as a jail until 1898 when the new jail was built. <laughs> and it, fortunately for the county and the, and the taxpayers, it's still in service. Then, in 1885, the commissioners of the county set forth a new vision for the people and began work on the first courthouse built on the historic property on which the foundations of this building stand today. Within 14 years, the county's needs outgrew the original building and it was beginning to exhibit signs of wear and decay. So in 1899, work began on the second courthouse in Baird. This time, the commissioners hired famed Texas architect James Riley Gordon to design the new courthouse. And in December of 1900, the county took possession of the building. It was wired for electricity and lighting in 1906 and served the county well for 28 years. During the five decade period from 1877 to 1929, Lasting improvements were made in order to meet the needs of the growing county. But as the Roaring Twenties drew to a close, it was decided that the people of Callahan County deserved a new, modern courthouse to serve as a beacon of justice for years to come. I remember when they tore the second courthouse down. It was a pretty courthouse, and we had to see him tear it down.
Today, we look back on more than eight decades of faithful service to the community while recognizing that our beloved seat of justice is starting to show her age. In her 85 years of service, very little has been done to maintain our courthouse. In fact, the only work performed has been emergency repairs and basic patchwork. Most of the electrical wiring dates back to when the building was built. There's a lot of the electrical in the courthouse that is uh, probably the original wiring from the, when the courthouse was uh, finished in 1929. Has uh, had a lot of aluminum wiring, had screw-in fuses. Our greatest fear is an electrical fire that would not only destroy the building, but also records dating back all the way to our founding. Additionally, with the introduction of computer systems to manage records, the current electrical infrastructure presents daily challenges as it is inadequate to meet modern standards. There's no way that the wiring the way it was could take care of the uh, tech that we have now, computers, just everything you can imagine now that we have that they didn't have then. The most noticeable effects of time can be seen in the battered windows all around the building. The more than 115 windows of the courthouse, most all of them original, are in desperate need of restoration. And while window air conditioning units have provided comfort for the citizens who visit the building, they have also done a great amount of damage to the windows and bricks surrounding them. At this time in the courthouse, we have like 16 window units. And we need to look at uh, heat and air and possibly a water-cooled system. We stand poised on the precipice of history. Through a four-phase process, we can breathe new life into the historic building that watches over our county, as well as revitalize the 1939 Art Deco Courthouse Annex Building. This is a historic building, and we want to preserve it the best we can. It's been here long enough, and sooner or later, you got to just spend some dollars on it. You don't have any choice. And the longer you put it off, the more money it's going to cost you. If it can be, be preserved, I think that's great. But putting it off is not going to make the problem go away. You've got to make the problem go away. This courthouse is 85 years old. This doesn't belong to us. It belongs to you, the taxpayer. This courthouse has seen the beginning and ending of many world conflicts and survived the Great Depression. It has served as a steadfast symbol of stability in this ever-changing, sometimes uncertain world. As a little kid, I was in awe of this building. But I think it would be um, a tragedy if we don't modernize this building so we can continue to use it and let future generations see what the Depression people were able to do with nothing. If they could build this building with nothing, then surely people can refurbish it and keep it for the future. As a teacher, I wanted to inspire the children to be civic-minded and to uh, be aware of things happening in the community and in the county. I think it's time for us to be thinking about what we're leaving for the next generation. And it really troubles me to see that something this magnificent has been allowed to fall in the disrepair that's, that it's in. Every century, the citizens of Callahan County have left their mark on one of the most important buildings in our history. The 21st century is our opportunity. Will we answer the call to make history again and preserve it for future generations like our forefathers before us? It's about more than updating an historic building. It's about being a part of something greater than ourselves, while preserving an essential piece of who we are. A proud past, a bright future.